All right, guys, so it's the first minute of my homeless rough sleep for charity. Um, I'll be sleeping on the streets for the next 24 hours, raising as much money as I can for homelessness in Scotland. We've already raised just over £40,000 uh, for the homeless. Um, so thank you, everybody, for your kindness. Uh, and if you want to donate, there's a link you can click. Um, just below. Uh, I'll keep you updated on my night on the streets. I'm going to set off and try and do a bit of begging to try and get some money. Um, I'll be donating it all back obviously but I just want to try and experience as much as I can um, in the short time I have. So thanks very much guys. Wish me luck. <laughs> How's it going folks all right? So, <clears throat> we're a few hours into our sponsored rough sleep for addiction and homelessness in Scotland. Um, it's a bit weird because uh, I was speaking to Richard who runs the charity Steps to Hope and he was saying last night, it was like, you're just sleeping with one eye open, you know, all the time, so... I'm not really that tired at the minute, so but I think I will fall asleep soon. I'm on a bench because um, I'm, I'm scared of rats. <laughs> I didn't want a rat crawling over me. But we've raised, um, for Steps to Hope so far, sitting at about 8,000, um, which is fantastic. And we've done um, £34,000 for um, uh, street soccer, which is a homeless charity as well. Um, so we're doing amazing, um, but this is my bed tonight, to be honest with you. I'm just a wee bit worried in case somebody, you know, I wake up and there's somebody standing looking at me or something. Um, I'd done a bit of begging in Prince's Street earlier on. I stuck my hat out, I was there for two hours. Um, and I'm not just saying this, like, this is, like, God's honest truth. I think it might be... 20% of the people that walked past gave me a glance, a sort of a look, and then look away quickly. Um, there must have been at least eight to a th 800 to 1,000 people walked past me. Not one person put a single penny in my hat. Um, there was one young girl who was really drunk. Well, I think she was drunk. And she, she kind of gave me a sort of... Like I said, you're disgusting. <laughs> Look, and it really pissed me off. I was angry. Um, I think if I had been a bit more tired, I would have maybe said something to her, but what's the point? Some people are beyond help. Um, so I uh, thank you so much for all, donate, all your donations um, for tackling homelessness in Scotland and um, addiction. It goes a long way. I've seen the I've seen the difference it makes in people's lives. Just um, gives them hope. And um, aye, I'll. Uh, oh, it's getting a wee bit chilly now. Like I just got a wee breeze there. Um, I think people just it's kind of. I think uh, if I were homeless, I'm gonna be shitting myself every two minutes. I hear a noise, and you'd be like, "What the fuck is that?" You know. Anyway. Um, Rats can climb, I know they can climb, George, but I didn't really want to fucking think about that, if I'm honest with you. Um, I mean, I can understand why, you know, homeless people do. Um, there's another one with a dirty look. It just makes me fucking angry. What the fuck are you looking at? Honestly, I'm going to keep my temper to myself, but... Do you know what I mean? It's your problem, mate. So anyway, um, aye. Let's see how we get on. Um, I don't know, I lost myself there. <laughs> I've got my back up. Um, aye, so hopefully uh, we raise loads of money and we can help people. Um, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit scared to go to sleep in case something happens, but I don't think anything bad will happen. 
Just my anxiety. I just... You can't trust people. I think that's what I've noticed. I can't trust fellow humans. <laughs> and, it, you know, it's funny because when I've been drunk, maybe sometimes I've... In the past, like when I've been younger or whatever, I'm still young, like, but... I'd never go past and be like, are you all right, pal? And maybe, you know, speak to homeless guys and maybe try to sleep. And actually, it's probably pretty fucking scary for them because they're like, whoa, who's that? What do you want? You know what I mean? So, um, I... It's been an interesting eye-opener for the first sort of half day. Um, when I was sitting in Princess Street, I, I did get a sense of... I felt like going into the, the pub asking for a bit of cardboard and I was just going to write, Am I Invisible? Um, just because it, the first emotion I can say is pissed off. You know, people... I felt angry at people. I just thought, You're, why are you looking at me like that? Like, I'm less than you or... I don't know. And it's quite horrible seeing people walk past you and you know that they're thinking something in their head. But, um... Aye, I'll let you, I'll keep you up to date and um, thanks for being kind and good humans and trying to make a difference in that. That's what we're here to do. Um, so crack on. Uh, there's not really much else I can say, but apart from that, um, oh yeah, I, if, if anybody is in town tonight, um, don't come looking for me. Because <laughs> uh, I feel like loads of people will turn up. I've had a couple of people already kind of spot me. Um, and we're looking at me like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> and I said, uh, I'll let, give, I give them a wee leaflet. I've got these leaflets here. Um, so if anybody does donate, I can exp it explains to them what I'm doing, that I'm not homeless. I'm actually raising money for Steps to Hope. And if anybody is homeless and needs a uh, food um, provisions uh, service, then all the details are there. You've got supper Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, uh, Friday and Saturday with Steps to Hope. Um, it's really making a difference. So, aye. This is what I'm handing people. And uh, let's hope it goes a long way. Um, I will keep you up to date uh, later on in a couple of hours. I might try and sleep now that it's no too, you know, there's still people walking about, so if anything bad did happen, at least there's like people who see it. Um, and then I'll probably try and stay awake for most of the night until sort of the sun starts coming up again. All right, guys, take care. Peace and love to you all, and thanks for your donations to homelessness and addiction in Scotland. Take it easy. Right. I just thought I'd run through my first day, uh, my experience in my first 24 hours sleeping rough on the streets, and um, it's the first time I've ever done this. Um, today's money for people with homelessness and uh, addiction in Scotland. Uh, probably my first day. Uh, I, I wish I had something good to say. I don't really have anything good to say because I'm telling you what, the, the experience I've had just in the short period of time is uh, nothing short of disgusting really. Um, the first two and a half hours I spent begging on the street <clears throat> I didn't get any money. <laughs> no, no, that it, you know, obviously we'd be donating it all back anyway, but it's just the fact that so many people walk past you and then and give you a glance, but then they bother sticking a hand to even 50p. I feel like it just, it, it makes you feel like they're not considering your situation or it's such a, certainly when I was sitting there thinking if I were homeless, that'd be so destroying for me. I'd feel like nobody gave a, sh gave a shit. Um, you get a lot of people coming over to you and talking to you about a lot of shite, but they never actually give you anything to help. Like, so it's really interesting that. Um, I think they just like to talk to you and pretend that they're helping. 
Um, I had a lassie yesterday look me up and down. I think the only thing she did today was spit at me. Uh, and I thought, you fucker, see if you were a guy. I think I would have leapt up and fucking lamped him one because I was so angry. I thought, how dare you? Um, that was a bit disappointing. And then I go and sleep on a bench. Some arsehole drunk starts pissing beside me. So I was like, right, I'm not sleeping here. <laughs> so I moved again. And then you go to sleep. Finally got my heat down about five o'clock. It's freezing cold. And uh, you get woken up again with some drunk boys like, what's your story? I'm thinking, what the fuck? What's wrong with people, man? So, all in all, a, a really big eye-opener, a humbling experience. Didn't, inst- uh, didn't restore my faith in humanity, let me tell you that. Really judgmental people, a lot of dirty looks. Um, it made me angry, it made me want to act out in anger. I woke up this morning, I went to a coffee shop. Um, she greeted me with, uh, you, you, you have to wear a mask. I've got my sleeping bag and stuff, so it looks pretty obvious. And I says, uh, I didn't have a mask, I'm homeless. I do have a mask, I just wanted to test her. And she said, I really couldn't care. She said, I didn't care. You've not got a mask, can I be here? And I thought, you fucking horrible piece of shit. I told her to fuck off at the end or said something like that. I just think, what's wrong with people, man? What are, what's wrong with you? You know, there's something no right with folk. Um, so I, maybe I'm a bit tired and grumpy, but I think uh, I've not got anything positive to say. And I think that's what bothers me the most because I'm such a positive person. And I always try and see the positives in everything, but there, there are no positives in this experience. Absolutely none. Other than I've learned that actually, I, there might be a lot of good people in the world, but it's quite hard to fucking see them sometimes. And I tell you, if you're homeless, I would feel like, personally, I'm no, I'm a different species for you. I'd feel like we're just living on a different, or in a different sort of, I don't even know what the word is. Like, like we're living on the same planet, but it feels like a different planet. Uh, so, and I mean, that's just one day. Uh, the guy's just, uh, Richie, if he steps to Hope's Day in five weeks, five weeks on the streets. And I tell you right now, after that first night, I'm actually worried about him. Um, you know, it's quite a mission he's, he's, he's given himself. <sighs> anyway. I think I was a wee bit upset with that woman earlier on. She was young as well, she was in her twenties, Ken. I just think, what? Fucking educate yourself, you stupid little bitch. Anyway. Um, so, I hope you, I hope everybody takes something for this as well. And when you do walk past homeless people, don't you just assume that they're junkie scum and that they've, 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 they've it's their own fault and their own downfall. It's like things happen in people's lives that they're, they're controlling. I think a wee bit of fucking empathy goes a long way. Um, I just kind of believe. And I, I bumped into a guy as well, and, and he was like, uh, he, was, I, he, he obviously knew who I was. And, uh, and he was like, hey, What are you doing? I was like, I'm uh, doing a, a sponsor sleep out basically for the homeless. and with addiction, he's just like, ah, well, he says, eh, I can't say I believe in all that. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, ah, well, it's like, Ken, they've all got hussies in that, and like, they've just got to go and spend it on drugs and all the rest of it. <laughs> just think it's like, I no bother, mate. Everyone that's homeless is just going to fucking spend it all on drugs, and they've got a big hoose, nice warm hoose to go to. Fucking people are so stupid, eh? Deary me, man. I'm, I'm sure there are professional beggars, of course there are, but you can't retard everybody with the same brush. And I tell you, my experience is sitting on a street, like, there's no many people can want to do that. I can tell you that right now. It's, there's, there's nothing exciting or good about doing that. Anyway, sorry to be so depressing for you guys and this time in the morning. I'm just telling you the reality of what my experience was. Um, 
really disappointed in people. Really, really, really disappointed. Anyway, thank you for all your donations. I've only got a few hours to go. Um, I did come up and got a day with myself. Um, this is actually quite um, fitting that I walk past. This is a good organisation, Social Bite. Um, if you're homeless, you can you can go there and get yourself a wee sandwich. And um, they've even given people a job and stuff who've been homeless who've then went on to getting back into society and stuff like that. So there are people that give a shit. <clears throat> Just know enough of them. Anyway, I don't know, I just feel really up upset. Right, guys, catch us later.